Electric vehicles are piling up on car lots across the country as the green revolution hits a major speed bump. As we are entering 2024, we're coming to the end of the early adopter phase of EV sales. Many of the higher income, more tech curious drivers who are eager to go electric have already purchased an EV. What's left is the rest of the auto market, which makes up the vast majority of buyers. They're still wary about purchasing one because of price or charging concerns. Some others don't want an EV in their entire lifetime as they are concerned about battery fire or believe the nation's power grid is not capable enough. However, in this growing mismatch between EV supply and demand, not every model is impacted in equal proportion. In order to get a better sense of what's going on, we dug into CarEdge's latest inventory report to identify the top 10 electric vehicles that dealers are struggling to sell. This time, we ranked the list based on market day supply and total inventory volume. Now, without further ado, let's go from bottom to top. Number 10. Audi Q4 e-tron German automaker Audi, which is known for its iconic Quattro rally car and more modern all-wheel drive luxury sedans and SUVs, will spread out the launch of new electric vehicles as it takes a step back from its ambitious electrification plan. Originally, Audi had announced it would launch 10 new all-electric models by 2026, which we now know is an almost impossible goal to achieve. Recently, the CEO of Audi chose his words wisely, saying the company doesn't want to overwhelm factories, but the fact of the matter is that dealers struggle to sell the brand's electric models. A good example is the Audi Q4 e-tron. As per CarEdge data, U.S. dealers hold about 3,000 units across the nation with a market day supply of 148 days. That's almost five months of idling. So it's no wonder why the company is starting to offer strong incentives along with low APR deals for the 2024 Q4 e-tron. For those who are not familiar, the Audi Q4 Sportback e-tron is essentially a rebadged version of the Volkswagen ID4. That might sound like hyperbole, but it's not. It's based on the same MEB architecture as the ID4. It has the same battery pack and the same powertrain. But all this is for an average invoice price of $60,000. No thank you. Number 9. Cadillac Lyric When Cadillac announced its move to all-electric vehicles in 2020, it told dealerships they needed to invest about $200,000 on EV chargers, tooling, and training. Dealers who don't want to make that investment were given a choice to accept a settlement to exit the brand. About one-fifth of the 880 Cadillac dealers in the U.S. reportedly took the deal at the time. Three years later, now Cadillac is realizing they have pushed the gas pedal too far on EV adoption. The most anticipated EV of the brand, the Lyric, is now piling up at dealer lots across the nation. As per CarEdge's December inventory report, there are close to 4,000 units idling at dealerships with 139 days of market supply. Number 8. Kia EV6 It was not long ago that customers had to wait months to get their hands on a new Kia EV6. The latest inventory data shows there are 4,741 Kia EV6s available at U.S. dealers, ready for buyers to take home. That's a market day supply of 153 days, which means based on the current sales phase, it will take 153 days for dealers to clear the current inventory. This explains why the automaker is introducing a number of incentives for the model. The EV6 is now selling under MSRP with an average sale price of $40,000. A sign indicates we are entering the buyer's market in 2024 for many of these electric cars. The Kia EV6 is a decent vehicle if you're looking for an electric SUV that prioritizes driving enjoyment. It's got plenty of power, sharp steering, and well-balanced handling. However, as the model progresses into its third year, there have been reports of reliability issues. Consumer Reports recently gave the crossover a 2 out of 5 rating for the charging category, citing many owners' complaints on the latest survey. One owner reported, At about 5,000 miles, the vehicle charging module was overheating and turning off the charging session prematurely. After multiple trips to the dealership with folks not educated on how EV charging works, we were finally offered a repair. Number 7. Mercedes EQS Mercedes-Benz made a promise to be all-electric by 2030. The automaker intends to have every newly launched vehicle architecture to be electric only after 2024 and to wean itself off combustion engines gradually. 
Unfortunately, the brand's sales trajectory doesn't appear to be cooperating. Despite seeing a surge of interest in its electrified EQ products initially, Mercedes has started having trouble moving EVs from its dealer showrooms. Currently, both the EQS SUV and the sedan have an average sale price of $130,000. CarEdge reports shows dealers currently have over 159 market day supply of EQS models in their inventory. US dealers have 4,224 EQS units in their possession as of December 2023. Number 6. Nissan Aria Nissan Aria has become hampered by problems at its high-tech production line, causing many delays in delivering the electric vehicles to dealers. However, tables have turned now, with the company outputting more units. But now the automaker has a new problem, finding buyers for its hyped-up electric SUV. Because all of a sudden, the EV buyers have vanished. The latest inventory data shows the U.S. dealers carry a total of 5,435 ARIA units, which converts to 156 days of market supply. An all-wheel drive ARIA with 270 miles of range starts at $51,190, while its interior is arguably Nissan's most elegant to date, complete with wood trim pieces and haptic buttons on the dashboard, the ARIA doesn't offer much in terms of excitement. Plus, its maximum DC fast charging rate of 130 kilowatts is lame compared to rivals. Before we get into the next one, if you appreciate all this info and the presentation, please drop us a like. Number 5. Hyundai Ioniq 5 The Korean automaker Hyundai Motors has figured out how to produce EVs quicker using its three different global EV plants. That enabled the company to import Ioniq 5s abundantly. Like many other EV manufacturers, Hyundai miscalculated the EV demand in North America. This has led dealers to sitting on a large supply of unsold Ioniq 5 crossovers. According to CarEdge data, U.S. Hyundai dealers carry a total of 8,816 units as of December 2023, which converts to 125 market day supply based on current phase of sales. The rear-wheel drive SEL trim, with an EPA-estimated 303 miles of range, is priced at around $50,000 and it's one of the electric crossovers closely compared to the Tesla Model Y. But it does not qualify for $7,500 in federal tax credits as the Tesla Model Y, possibly another reason why buyers turn away. Number 4. Volkswagen ID.4 Consumer Reports says we expect the 2024 ID.4 will be less reliable than an average new car. This prediction is based on data from 2021, 2022, and 2023 models. Owners complained of drive system failures to over-the-air update errors. For those who are unfamiliar, a little background on the US-made ID.4. In July 2022, Volkswagen announced the start of the ID.4's production when it became the first Volkswagen EV to be built and sold in the US. The company planned to reach an output of about 7,000 Chattanooga-made ID.4s per month in 2022 and then ramp up through 2023. However, actual sales were not even close to the company's 2022 output target. As per CarEdge data, U.S. Volkswagen dealers hold over 11,000 ID.4s in total with 103 days of supply. That's a lot of electric cars to charge up and hold at the dealer lots because EVs lose charge even when they are idle. Number 3. Hyundai Ioniq 6 The new 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 6 will start at $4,100 less than last year's model. The South Korean carmaker is lowering the price of the 2024 Ioniq 6 base model, which will now start at $38,600. Higher price trims are getting a price cut of $2,400 to $3,000 as well. Hyundai says the lower price is due to production efficiencies and scale. But the truth of the matter is the demand for the Ioniq 6 electric sedan is drying up very fast. Dealers are stopping orders as their stockpile is growing. As per the latest inventory report, dealers are averaging a 156 days of market supply with the current total inventory of 5,869 cars. Number 2. Ford F-150 Lightning Ford told its dealers that it is cutting the weekly production of its F-150 Lightning pickup truck to half the volume in 2024 due to a lack of customer demand. The automaker also recently said it would delay the $12 billion in EV investments. That includes pausing construction of one of its two planned battery plants in Kentucky and reducing production goals for another battery factory in Michigan. 
Ford continues to lose money on its EVs, around $1.3 billion this past quarter. So far this year, Ford has lost $3.1 billion on its EV spending and has said it's going to lose a total of $4 billion for the year. On the other hand, dealers are getting impatient with the oversupply of EVs, including the F-150. CarEdge reports there are a total of 13,174 Ford F-150 pickups sitting around dealer lots nationwide with 124 days of market supply. Number 1. Ford Mustang Mach-E The report shows that there are over 25,000 unsold new Ford Mustang Mach-E's at Ford dealers across the country. That's a market day supply of 337 days as per the current phase of sales. Now, Ford dealers are refusing EV deliveries to avoid having cars they can't move off their lots. The record high Mach-E inventory comes as the Dearborn automaker pulls back its EV investments. Buyers are staying away from the Mach-E electric crossover due to many reasons including low resale value and reliability issues. Consumer Reports gave the Ford Mustang Mach-E low reliability rating citing its electric motor, battery, and charging. Well, that's a wrap. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. See you soon with another insightful car video.